Lead, bringing MENA advertising and marketing stakeholders together to learn, engage, activate, and drive the industry forward. Ad Fraud, Challenges and Solutions, presented by Dr. Augustine Fu, US-based ad fraud investigator with eight plus years of data research under his sleeve. Let's dive in. First, what is ad fraud? Digital advertising networks charge advertisers based on how many people see and click on an ad. But while digital advertising is a great way to connect with consumers, advertisers, agencies, and publishers have to be aware of ad fraud and the waste it can cause. Normally, ads are loaded on pages visited by humans. But clicks, impressions, and downloads can be generated artificially. These invalid ad interactions are generated specifically to trick you into believing that your traffic comes from authentic users. So, ad fraud is essentially a subset of invalid traffic, fake results that advertisers pay for. How is ad fraud done? Ad fraud is, unfortunately, easy to commit. Fraudsters set up fake websites, often without any content and organic traffic, just ad displays. They buy traffic from bots or software programs designed to repeatedly load the web pages. Or they set up these ads so small, or in pop-unders, so that they are not even seen. And they sell these fake ads on ad exchanges, at large scale and cheap prices. They can even be part of ad networks themselves. Fraudsters also fake app downloads on mobile phones and fake mobile display ads that run in the background to create fraudulent impressions. Just this morning, I saw a report which says 4,000 apps on Google Play um, have been abusing permissions, meaning they're reading uh, things off of your phone that they're not supposed to, uh, and they're committing ad fraud in the background. So that's 4,000 apps downloaded millions of times by different people. So the point is, these fake sites are still showing up in the data. These are ones that are being added by the thousands into programmatic ad exchanges. Why is this bad? For advertisers, these ads not shown to humans lead to wasted ad dollars. For publishers, ad revenues are diverted away to fake websites. And ad fraud also contributes to funding fake news, hate speech, and disinformation, which harms brand safety. In the US, um, you'll see some examples of where very large publishers have struggled for many years and some have just gone bankrupt. When a lot of these ad dollars are going to thousands and thousands of sites that the advertiser has never seen before, there's a possibility, in fact, a very high probability that those ads are going to fake news sites. Why does this keep happening? Ultimately, ad fraud is not a technology problem, it's an incentive problem. Throwing more technology at it will not solve it. So ad fraud is an incentives problem because pretty much everyone has the incentive to keep it going. You now understand that in programmatic exchanges, that's how you can get very large quantities at very low prices. So in this case, the advertisers and their agencies love buying fraud because it gives them a lot more quantity, but those people are not asking the, the question, uh, are, is that reach real? Are those sites real? Are the visitors to those sites real? What can marketeers do? You can start by paying attention to what's really happening with your campaigns. And you should work with reliable, verified publishers who drive real human traffic, even if they're a tad more expensive. At the end of the day, low CPM sources result in a cost per human 11 times higher than a real publisher's. Using tags on ads or on-site codes we can assess the sources that attract more human traffic than bots. Because you get what you pay for. So ultimately, if you're buying cheap, you're probably not getting your ads in front of humans. And if you can't stop using networks, please use very, very strict whitelists, right? And those whitelists will comprise of sites where you actually want your ads to show. By scrutinizing where and how you spend your advertising budget online, you can minimize ad fraud and maximize both revenues to serious publishers and your own return on investment, fully benefiting from programmatic's many advantages. To learn more, follow Dr. Augustine Fu on Twitter or LinkedIn.